Hey guys, 2 to UK back again. Right, I finally got this freaking TV working now. Uh, so two afternoons spent trying to configure it to get it all working, and I finally cracked it. Uh, I've actually got the decoder socket working, um, and it, it's just bizarre. I mean, the way these TVs are configured, you know, you, you need to be a fucking professor of science to work them out. Um, but uh, yeah, managed to crack it anyway. So, like I say, anybody who's, who would consider buying one of these, you know, just be mindful that it, they're not as user friendly as the Sony ones at all. Um, I've given up with the VCR port on the back uh, because it just ends up playing havoc and I've read shit loads of stuff on the net and no one can seem to get it to work. Um, to compound the problem it ends up being due to the software that's actually in the TV so even though if you've got a certain model depending on the software will then allow you to switch off the VCR portion of it um, regardless of if you put the SART SCART socket in or not because uh, the TV is integrated into the actual software so and this one didn't have it on. Um, so yeah, I had to press about in service menus and all sorts of this to get it working. But it's working and I've got both, let's say, both SCART sockets running. So as you can see, this is Gradius, Gradius. Um, bit of glare off, off the screen when the light comes on. So I'll have a quick blast. Uh, I'm absolutely shite at it, but uh, we'll have a quick go. And then you can see me there, look. This is partly why I can't really do um, gameplay videos because it's the, the light, but uh, I ain't got a clue what I'm picking here. Uh, a bit of that. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do a quick, quick blast of this just to show you, and then I'll flick over to to the Mega Drive uh, to show you that running on the the other port. Very good game this is though, I must admit. I've like I said briefly had a had a blast of it like. Damn, there we go. Look like a bit of shit on this actually. Ah! Uh, Give it a Ah, oh, you mother! I'm saying, um, shooters ain't really my thing. Uh, I actually do enjoy playing them, even though I'm absolutely dire at it, but. Uh, sound as well. Right, so yeah, there we go, that's just my uh, weak ass attempt. Uh, uh, a bit of Gradius. So what I'll do, I'll flick it over now and uh, like I say, we'll uh, get the Mega Drive on the go. What have we got in there? Uh, oh yeah. Right. So what we need to do is basically put the old Mega Drive over. There we go. Yeah, very convoluted. The Omega Drive. Here we go. Very convoluted. The uh, the screens. These 
the you know ones ridiculously. Bit of wacko jacko. Mm, a bit of glare on out now. So it's not ideal, guys. I know. So, but uh, yeah, just to prove that the uh, the fucking thing doesn't cut off. A very good sound, actually. There he goes. So you got to save the kids, basically, which is a bit, a bit dodgy at the best, isn't it? Um, these hookers come out and stop you. Get out of the way, bitch. So down the bottom right there, she gives you a little count of uh, how many kids you got to save. I've done a few levels of this before already, so I'm not gonna, again, like I say, I'm not gonna play for the old thing. I think you can, oh, actually, you can change the song, yeah. Get out of the way. So I'm missing one. Get the stairs. There we go. And your little monkey is in there, his name Bubbles. So he's, he tells you which way we've got to go. What does that monkey actually have? Did it die? I can't remember. There you go. So you have this guy who comes up here, and all that happens is all the goons. And that's it. And you have to walk up to the little Michael. kid. And she says that, Michael. So, yeah, guys, uh, I say hopefully, I might, what I might have to do if I do some proper gameplay ones is um, maybe wait till it goes a bit darker because that, that's not really great, is it? Uh, so, yeah.